I hope this serves whoever finds it today and you can find some peace, step into your future and have a better life. That's the whole purpose of this video, to help you with grief and moving forward. And so let's think about, all right, what was it? There was the companionship, right? So you got the companionship, that's fine, that's good. Where does that live, that companionship that you have in your system? Where does it live in your personal space? Let's look at that picture, the companionship. Let's go into the qualities, which is part of your self-concept, but it's also your self-concept that lives with them. What are the qualities? So think of one quality and how you've stored that. And it might be that companionship. Where is that companionship, that friendship, that, you know, we're in this together type companionship. It's like you're a team. How many examples do you have of that? You might have a thousand, I don't know, 100, 200, whatever it is. Do they show up at the same time? And do they, are they all pictures? Or are there some sounds and some feelings? Write down your answers to those questions. Now that companionship is a wonderful thing. But what we'll do is we'll just sort of slightly tweak it so that you are feeling more grounded and centered inside yourself. So that is the first part of the equation. We now know one of the qualities of the relationship when you think about your partner who's departed. Now let's talk about how you can feel more grounded Go into your own self-concept and think about a time when you felt grounded. Think about that time when you found, felt grounded and have a look at how many times that that happened. Like how many examples do you have in your life? This is a different time. This is without your partner. This is you by yourself because we need to get you grounded by yourself, right? So you're by yourself, but you're grounded, you're happy, you're centered. Think of a time when you were grounded. Of course, you can play around with these words and these values and these qualities. But what's the time when you were grounded? Think about that time. How many examples do you have of when you were grounded? You were centered. You were calm. You were just observing the world. You were in a better place. How many examples do you have of that? Were they pictures? Were they sounds? Were they images? Were they feelings? And write that down too. Were you associated, like seeing through your own eyes, or do you see yourself in that film? And so as you see yourself in that film, or you're seeing through your own eyes, what I want you to do now is look at that time and really bring it up closer to your eyes so that you are feeling grounded. Bring, bring the picture close. Bring the picture right up to your mind's eye. Step into that time when you're feeling grounded. Really notice it. And really write down, once you've finished this little exercise, write down all of those qualities that I just talked about inside being grounded. Is it a picture? Where are they in your visual field? How many examples are there? And what I'll do is I'll attach to this video a list. And this comes straight from Steve Andreas' book, Self Concept Model. And inside that, we're going to then map across feeling grounded to the quality of your loved one. So you're feeling grounded while still accessing the quality of your loved one. So this is something for you to play with and try. There'll be something very specific for your body and your nervous system. So that's the thing I want you to focus on, is you. Now, through a video, I'm not going to get it perfect for each person. I'm not going to get it right for everybody because I need to know your specific formula, right? That's the critical piece. And so when you think about your specific formula, that's what we want to work with. So think about your formula. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. In this little activity, you're going to look at your specific examples of being grounded. You're going to see how many examples that you have. You're going to see if they're all pictures or if they're feelings or if they're sounds or if they're thoughts. 
You're also going to see if you're associated, which is seeing through your own eyes, or when you look at the memories, or you're seeing yourself in the memory. Notice all those things when you're grounded. And I want you to really focus on closing your eyes and going to that examples of being grounded. Notice where they live in your visual field. Do they all show up at the same time? Are they all showing up at the same time? Someone's got a stingray over there, fishing, <laughs> for the looks of it. Uh, sorry about that. And so are they all showing up at the same time? And where are they? Do they have any colors on the pictures? Or are they showing up one by one? We really, really want to unpack Grounded. And as you unpack Grounded, well, we want to then write all those answers down. And then go back, go back to the quality of your loved one, of being connected, of being a team, of being, you know, companionship. And then notice each of the elements I'm talking about from the list in the PDF below, and you'll see the attachment below. And notice all of those feelings. Notice how many pictures, where are they in your field, and change them one by one to match up similar to being grounded. Change them one by one to being grounded. And so that way you can have those old feelings, you can have that connection with your partner, but also feel grounded in it at the same time. It's called mapping across. And if you need any help with this, I can help you out in a complimentary one-on-one -on -one session where I can take you through that process and find the things in you that will make you feel grounded and at least be able to get through. And of course then all the releasing and letting go side of things is a step-by-step -step process because you don't want to let them go. I understand that. There's a lot of things you can do and there are a hundred ways to roam, so to speak, many roads to roam, and we can help you get through that process. So, this is Matt Tate from Fork and Road Coaching and YouTube channel, and I love to help you get through that with this content. Map across, change the details using my list of about half a dozen features of how you store structurally inside yourself. That's what the goal is today, storing it inside yourself, getting it so that you're matching up something you want with something you want to keep. All right, I hope that helps today. I'll give more details in the description and there'll be a link that you could go to or a PDF you can go and grab. And have a go at it yourself. Play around with your self-concept and how you stored that emotion that's giving you trouble and use an emotion that you've had in the past that keeps you grounded. It's so many things you can do with this. I hope this serves you today. This is Matt Tate from Fork and Road Coaching. If you want a one-on-one -on -one session, there's a link below that you can click on and you can see my information in there. But if not all good, I hope this serves whoever finds it today and you can find some peace, step into your future and have a better life. That's the whole purpose of this video, to help you with grief and moving forward. God bless and I'll see you in the next video. Matt Tate from Fork and Road Coaching. As always, like, subscribe to the channel and you'll get my videos on a regular basis. I'll see you in the next video. Where do you store those qualities in your system? Where do you store them? So think about one quality, right? So let's think about one quality as I get out of the wind. One quality that is affecting you, that you're really missing about them. Oh, I really miss this thing, that they were such a great companion. That's probably a good place to start. That they were my soulmate, that they were whatever it is. Where do you store that in your system? Now, all things, we want to keep those things, but we also need to acknowledge the counterexamples as well. We'll acknowledge whether they're pictures or sounds, and you can start to unpack where that lives structurally in your nervous system, in your spirit. And as we are thinking about that, we can start to focus on how you can find better feelings, better feelings in your body.